Are you serious? Yeah, man. Joshua was holding out on me. I've been here already two days, and he didn't tell me we have Donkey have Mario Kong. Kart and, um, Look at this. This cartridge is so sick. Yeah. Legendary. <laughs> Pump it, yo. Oh. Butter. Today we are editing our film that we shot yesterday. It was pretty epic. So now yeah. we're going to walk you through the process of doing it from your phone with Adobe Rush. Yep. And uh, transfer it over to Premiere Pro. Yeah. So we're going to start the edit. This is basically, if you're editing on your phone, this is the best option in my opinion, Premiere Rush. We're not going to edit the whole thing on Premiere Rush because like Joshua said, we're going to then move to the computer for final touchies. Touchy. Touchy. <laughs> Another thing we're gonna actually show you guys is how we find music using music bed. So the whole process of finding the mood, tempo, all that jazz. So yep. yeah. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Again, this is just gonna be us actually trying to edit this video and showing you like our process. So is what it is. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's begin. Uh, we are gonna screen record on the phone. We got a top angle, we got this angle. What up, everybody? We got 7-Eleven coffee, <laughs> you. my fave. And a little editing sesh, let's do this. Quick pro tip for screen recording too. You can turn your microphone on uh, on the screen recording by pressing hard and holding down. And then you'll wanna do a clap sync. To keep things organized on your phone, the, what I like to do is actually grab all the clips that I'm gonna use to edit and then I'll go ahead and hit select and start from here. That was at 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. I'll just grab all of these. You're making a native album. Yes. Yeah. So now once I've done that, I'll just hit the little arrow, which is like the share button, and hit add to album. Now I'm gonna create a new album with all the files that I have. So it's gonna separate it from my regular photo library. So I can go directly there and not grab any extra clips that I don't need. Boom. And save that. So now you'll go, yep, right over to Adobe Rush. And some of these are my old projects. You can see right in the projects tab, you'll hit plus, add media. And when you're right in your add media tab, you can actually hit albums. Then you'll go down to the perfect run. Boom. They're all there. You wanna name the project now that you're in Rush. We'll also name it the perfect run. I think the final title will be how to go on the perfect run or something. Right. Running title. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a running title. That's, that's dad points right there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, am I a dad or what? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Select all your clips now. There you go. We had 87 clips from yesterday, not including, we'll actually import. We could have done it earlier, but we had the iPhone 11 Pro. We'll just yeah. do it later. Yeah. You wanna make sure this check mark right here is turned on. This is sync with Creative Cloud. And what that's gonna allow you to do is then all these clips will be synced over the cloud. So when I go and import and make a project in on Premiere Pro a little bit later on the computer to do all the final tweaking and everything, um, that will allow it to go over. So create and pray that it works and the app doesn't crash with 87 high bit rate clips. Yeah. Preparing media. All right, so now that we have all the clips imported into this little project file here, you can see them. You have every single clip here. If you press this button right there, it looks a little bit more like a Premiere Pro time on that you might be used to, and you can click, you know, put a clip above, make a few different layers. Um, but one thing I just wanted to say that you will notice is that we did shoot in anamorphic, and all you have to do, because we had, in the Moment Pro Camera app, we had the file is already de-squeezed. Um, all you have to do is press on the clip here on the bottom bar, go over to transform and you just hit fit. And then you're getting that anamorphic look with the black bars on top and bottom because that's the actual aspect ratio that it exported. You do unfortunately have to do that on every single clip individually. So this clip here, you have to hit fit. It's not a big deal. I usually build out the edit first before doing that in here. Um, just so it's an extra step and I'm actually deleting clips and piecing my, piecing my favorite ones together. So from here, Joshua's just cleaning up his studio in the background. I'm not gonna do this entire edit for you guys right now, but we'll piece together kind of the first beginning sequences. But it's crazy how powerful like this little bit of software is to actually build out and edit. Cause imagine like you're going on a train ride or you're driving yeah. a car and you just need to make some quick edits. This and it's fun perfect. to dink around and basically build out your story outline. Mm -hmm. You're building out essentially a rush. Yeah. You can check this out on the field while you're shooting on your phone. It's pretty freaking fun. Yeah. So I'll split that there, delete it, and then you can get an idea for 
I don't know why the audio is super quiet, but so I run in, stretch it out, and then it's just like, how to go for the perfect round by Caleb Babcock. It all starts the night before. Ooh, that was I mean, nice. I mean, and then you cut. Yeah. That's sick. And then from there, we're going to cut to, okay, this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> I'm going to spend the next little bit. We're going to time lapse um, me just kind of building out the beginning sequence of this edit. And then we'll talk to you about moving to the computer. Close. Close, yeah. We'll finesse it later. Dude, dude, that looks incredible. That's such a great shot. What? This looks so good. Oh, Shout out to Joshua. Leave a freaking <laughs> like on this video for that shot. Oh, man. Oh. Butter on the table. Um, when you're looking for like clips with movement too, like making sure they cut together nice. Yeah, so directional play or yep. uh, pacing type. Kind of playing around with it, the nice part too. Mm -hmm. If you're like, that works, that doesn't work. We have kind of an intro ready. What's happening right here, we'll probably put a screen recording on. See this little blue circle that... My face. This blue circle right here. All right, so what you see happening here, that little blue circle, that's syncing to your um, Adobe Creative Cloud. So that does need to be finished full circle until all the clips are ready to then upload as a project. All right, so as the clips are syncing on the cloud and then we can open the project on the laptop, there's a little bit of downtime. So we're gonna use that time and look for music for the film on Musicbed. And Joshua is gonna explain uh, how we go about tips, tricks, stuff to help you actually find music. We're literally gonna be looking and trying to buzz through some music right now that we could actually use, so. That turn though. Look at that cool transition. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually gonna use the Musicbed app. I actually really love doing this. I like doing this on the, on the fly because it's so easy to search for music and just listen to it. Um, so in terms of playlists, there's a ton of things you can search for. So I'm gonna actually go here to browse, click the little toggle button there, and there's a whole list of different ways to search for music. So there's genre, there's moves, there's artists, there's attributes instrumentals, keys, vocals, a ton of things. But we're actually gonna focus on mood because our film has a little bit of comedic moments, um, has high energy. So that's probably the easiest way to filter through a lot of the music here on Musicbed. So I'm hit mood. And then let's just actually check out aesthetic. That might be quite interesting to start with. So I'm gonna hit aesthetic, apply. Now I have my HomePod here, mini, the mini here. I love this thing. So let's see. I feel free. That might actually be interesting. All right, so what I like to do as I'm listening to music, you can easily hit favorite for the song, but I'm gonna hit plus and make a playlist because if I like it, um, I can save it for later. The perfect run. That's when just keep this a running title. Okay, so now I made that project. And then what's easy to find with new music for Musicbed. Now we can make this search a little bit more narrow. So a lot of this has songwriters and, and lyrics to it, but I want instrumentals. So we keep mood and static, and then we add, we say no vocals, right? So no vocals, no oohs and ahs, none of that, none of that. Because we have voiceover especially. Yeah, exactly. No shouts, none of this. See, no vocals at all, okay? Dude. That's, that's, this is that's good. kind of fun. The perfect run. It's kind of elegant. Yeah. Kind of yeah. how to explain -y. Wow. Okay, I'm that, adding that. I'm adding that's that. a good one. So that's added there. Okay, what's the next one? Be wild. Kind of retro. <laughs> Pump it, yo! Honestly, put this in! Oh, man! <laughs> it goes! Ooh. Okay, this is kind of wintry. Yeah. Yeah, a little too wintry. Uh, yeah. That's the name of the song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Vibe Tribe. 
could go. That could go. Come on. It does take time finding music. Musicbed has some resources where you can hit them up and for some recommendations, but really like just budget in time when you're making your film to look for music. Sometimes you hit it quick. It's just the name of the game with filmmaking, but the resource out there with like all these ways you can license music now is incredible. And the artists are awesome on Musicbed. So the music quality is top notch, which is great. So all that to say, use the app if you want or browse on your computer. So what we'll do now actually is since Joshua has added these to a playlist, we share the same account under the moment channel. And uh, all now when I'm editing this up or he's editing this can pull on the computer and download it, add it to your files and you're good to go. All right, so everything is uploaded now from the cloud. As you can see, it might be too bright. The little blue circle is done and gone. So, oh, we got a new director in the house. Yeah, she's in the back. She, she just told you, Caleb, that was terrible. Do it over. Okay, I'll do it over. All right, so now that the clips are all uploaded and synced with the cloud, we are going to move over to our laptop and I'm gonna use Premiere Pro to essentially now, that's what I use normally as my editor. Um, so with mobile footage though, it's awesome to have the ability, like we said, stack a little edit or the whole thing, but then finish the project or keep working on it in Premiere. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Cool, so you're gonna open up Premiere Pro right here and this is where it's important. Um, instead of here where you usually hit new project, you, you see right down here, it says open Premiere Rush project. So you actually click on that, Ooh. which is super cool. It's so fast too. I think because that blue circle finished up, that means it's synced, it uploaded, and it's downloaded or in here. So I'm literally just gonna open the perfect run. Check this out. So that is clicked and opened. I feel like this is a really, really cool thing where it feels like oh, you're almost living in the future because I did that technically wirelessly. Now I have my computer, I did it. And in here, literally the files, and these are my files and they're actually, scroll over here, they're in full 4K, 3840 by 1624 because we shot Animorph 50 squeeze. But that means my project file is already started in a 4K timeline, as you can see here. Literally, I'm playing it and it looks incredibly sharp. It looks so good. It looks so good. So that is where it's at. And if you just have your timeline roughly built out, then you can start to really, you know, dial things around. Um, I usually edit with a mouse actually, but I didn't bring it on this trip. But if you want to do some J cuts, we also said this, this clip is going to need some cropping because it wasn't shot on anamorphic because we can't fit the anamorphic inside the access go housing okay so this slow-mo shot of me jumping over this uh, chair thing out there all you're gonna do is go to the clip reveal in project so that clip is here we'll right click we'll modify interpret footage and we'll do two things in here <clears throat> the frame rate we'll use is 23976 and that will convert it to slow motion and then we're also going to go down here to pixel aspect ratio conform to uh, you'll see HD anamorphic 1080 1.33 even though it's 4k I don't the setting just has it it's maybe it's not updated but it's 1.33 so that is the correct one we click OK and then you'll see the frame look you uh, scale it back to 75% and now it is de squeezed but here you go and now it's literally Ooh. in slow motion, which is rad. That was nice. Here you go again. Already slowed down, de-squeezed in like two seconds. Boom. That's some smooth camera work. That's some smooth camera work. My my guy. My guy. My guy. <laughs> um, we're gonna put our voiceover in. Here, I'll show you that real quick. So I got out the G drive here because I keep everything on the G check drive, super fast, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt's like the fastest drive, stoked on it and I do have my files in here. I back everything up again from the phone to this. So we'll drag the voiceover. It's just so cool, you started on a phone and now you're in Premiere, just like you would be. Um, you could also make a bin for all these clips if you want. Yeah, here's our voiceover, so. Say, how to go for the perfect run. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> how to go for the perfect run. The perfect run always starts the night before with exactly 12 ounces of room temperature water. The good stuff. Um, that's probably, I, don't, I, I did everything a couple times, but for instance, airdrop the voiceover, 
drag it under your clip and let's watch it really fast just for fun. <clears throat> How to go for the perfect run. The perfect run always starts. So that's a little long, but for instance, if it was, we got it right. The perfect run always starts the night before with exactly 12 ounces of room temperature water. <laughs> the good stuff. Anyways, I hope you learned something in this editing breakdown. I know it wasn't super detailed, but um, we just wanted to show you our workflow. And essentially now I'll be diving into this edit, piecing it all together. Should be sweet. We also have, if you're really interested in more editing, color grading, anything specific, we had a MIF filmmaker workshop go down this year. Um, what, a month, month ago or something? About a month ago. We had some amazing teachers, including Joshua and myself, yeah. more full length in depth. That's a class you can actually buy and learn, and it's very, very thorough. The workshop's incredible. So if you're interested in more learning, but the videos, these, this kind of little series we did was just more to hype you guys up, and hopefully you enjoy the process of making your film. Mm -hmm. This is just for you to realize that you can get out and start filming yeah. with just your phone. That's like the whole purpose of this. Caleb and I took this in one day, a short script, and it looks really good. So you can get some high quality stuff, have the confidence, have some fun, and just make some great content. Yeah. Cool. With that, we will see you guys real soon. We're going to be together a bit more. Again, yeah. we want the channel to just hit subscribe and we want to get stoked. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get stoked. Hit subscribe. We want to try to grow this channel and get you guys more prizes, more cash. It's more fun. Yeah, let's do it. All right, peace. Deuces.